Hey curl friends, it's Jazz and I'm back with another quick video for you. Gonna be showing you how I got this bouncy, fluffy, perm rise set on blown out hair. So let's get into it. So I've already shampooed and deep conditioned my hair. I use Squeaky and Heal and Renew, which is my favorite hair mask. It's packed with so many goodies like peppermint oil, avocado oil, aloe vera juice, and it has silk protein, so it's gonna give my hair strength and moisture at the same time, which is always a plus. Now I will leave this on here for about 30 minutes with a hot head cap that I use to deep condition with, or you can use a warm towel or sit underneath the dryer just to make sure you really penetrate your cuticle. Now I'm all rinsed out and my hair is packed with moisture, ready to be styled. I really truly believe that deep conditioning is just the foundation of any style that you want to do. So I decided to blow out my hair for this style because I wanted to have a little bit more length for day one hair and it's the holiday season so why not just go all the way out. I've noticed that my hair as it gets longer, my perm rod sets sometimes have become a little more difficult. So I can't really use the small, small ones like I like to. So I'm gonna be using the gray perm rods. And as you can see, I did four rolls already in the back. I'm gonna be styling with Good Hair Conditioning Styling Cream as my base. And I'm not really gonna to go too shy with the amount of product I use, but I don't wanna use so much that my hair reverts back to being curly. I'll be cocktailing that with my favorite Curly Magic just to give my style that definition that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna be using a little bit on each section. So I'm not gonna apply the curly hair to an entire section of my head. I'm gonna be using it on each piece if that makes sense. My rapid method is pretty much the same, but as you can see, I really don't have that much room on these perm rods. So I'm trying to not have any gaps whatsoever because I'm really going from edge to edge because like I said, my hair is getting longer. So the smaller perm rods have become a little bit more difficult. So if this happens for you, you might wanna go up a size, like the next size up from these is the white. So you'll get a little bit um, more rotations or less rotations actually because that's gonna help you with having more room to work with with a bigger size perm ride. Now I'm gonna be using a little bit of the curly magic on the ends to make sure that they stay in place and I will be closing the perm ride across the root which is gonna be across the front or wherever your scalp is and the root so that it stays in place. So I'm gonna show you that here again one more time. As you can see I'm starting from the very beginning of the ride making sure that my wraps are in place and neat and then once I smooth that over with a little bit of the curly magic at the end I'm gonna pay attention to where my string is and if it's not where I need it to be I simply click it back onto the hook and then across the front so I used 30 perm rods all together I did about medium sized sections I didn't really get too small I did four sections four rows in the back and then a side part and now for the fun part, the takedown. Now, as always, please make sure your hair is completely dry. I know you did this on blown out hair, but applying product to dry hair still needs to dry. So as you can see, my definition is on point. That's why it's so important to make sure you take your time with the wrapping method. Make sure everything is neat and you will be rewarded with a beautiful defined style. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm always amazed, even though I already know that good hair and curly magic are gonna just get me together very nicely and leave me with bomb definition. One thing I do like about doing styles on blown out hair is that your style is left nice and fluffy and you're gonna get a lot of volume, more so than you would with a wet style and you don't have to do as much separating so that your style can last a lot longer. So what I like to do for separation, I like to kind of tug on each section a little bit just to give it a little more stretch but not really ruining the definition and then kind of separate where it starts to separate naturally and I do sometimes put a little oil on my hands to reduce any unnecessary frizz. But like I said in the beginning, deep conditioning and using products that just implement so much moisture into your style, you really don't have to add unnecessary extra oils to your hair, which sometimes can weigh your hair down because you already have all that good stuff in these products and it's giving you the shine and moisture that you're looking for and great definition, of course. 
And just like with any style that I do on here, this is where you kind of make it your own. I like to separate and I'm separating a little more than I normally would on day one, but because I have a lot more volume because I did this on blown out hair, I'm not going to fluff out my roots just because this is Friday and I kind of want this to last through next week which will be thanksgiving and i want to have nice big hair so i'm going to let this grow over the week and if you don't follow me on instagram follow me at jazz colored curls and i'll keep you updated on how i keep this definition throughout the week can we just get a moment of appreciation for these soft moisturized curls i mean <laughs> One thing about being blonde is that sometimes you can look dry and I know that Uncle Funky's is going to get me together on the moisture levels to where I'm not left with some dry curls. I mean, sometimes blonde, it happens. So like I said in the beginning, it's always important to have your healthy hair regimen. And Uncle Funky's daughter offers such an array of products that's going to help you make your regimen perfect for your needs. So if you haven't gotten your hands on these already, head over to UncleFunkysDaughter.com and use Jazz Colored Curls for 15% off or head over to Target and write it and get them right now and get your wash day started today. So comment down below and let me know what you think of this style and any questions I may have left out. And let me know which Uncle Funky's Daughter product is 